News WTOC continues to salute our veterans this week. Today's story focuses on a group that didn't get veteran status until decades after their service ended. We went to the National Museum of the Mighty Eighth where they pay special tribute to the WASPs, Women Air Force Service Pilots. These women changed aviation in that they earned so much respect by the other pilots, by the men. It's a program that only lasted 16 months, but made a huge impact when it came to preparing planes to fly into combat zones in World War II. Numbers from the U.S. Army show just over 1,000 women completed the training, after 1,800 were selected from over 25,000 applicants. The Army says those 1,074 women ferried planes across the U.S., ran check flights, and even taught their male counterparts a thing or two about flying. All the male pilots are grumbling about how difficult it is. And so this B-29 takes off, flies, you know, lands again. Oh. And these two uh, w women, smaller, you know, yes. shorter women, get off the plane, and the men all went. <laughs> the WASPs were disbanded on December 20th, 1944 about six months after Congress voted against a bill that would have made them a women's service in the Air Force, a service that would go unrecognized for more than three decades. The thing most people don't realize is that they are not actually in the military. They are not given any military be benefits. The 38 women who wasps were who were killed during the war, their families aren't even given money to ship them home for burial. It's not until 1977 that they're actually given veteran status. So many, many years after the war are they finally given this respect in, um, that they are due. Sam Bauman, WTOC News.